Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I, I didn't forget, forget, I just... I, I'll, I'll be there soon. <sighs> His tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. <sighs> He's right. How did I lose track of time? How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work. In a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. I wish I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. We should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something.
Peter. Oh, Peter. Don't even know why I'm bothering to record this. Norman has neutered us, and soon the lab will be out of funds. We were on the verge of such great things. If we had just a bit more time and money, I know all the ideas in our heads would have come pouring. Wait. Ideas in our heads. My God, Peter, that's it! Damn it! Why do I keep repeating the same mistake over and over? Norman Osborne cannot be trusted. In matters large and small, if Norman has the chance to profit off another man's loss, he'll take it. It's infuriating. Someday I'll turn the tables. I'll teach Norman what it is to feel helpless and small. Doc must have more history with Norman than he shared. Mr. Lee spoke to me. He seemed worried. Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry. I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. <laughs> 